I am here to dazzle you all tonight with a beautiful wedding card box that I think you're gonna love. It's so pretty. Anyway, we're gonna be using the um, the totally dazzled bling wrap in silver. We're gonna be using, I don't know which one, I know for sure we're gonna be using these two applique ones. And I'm doing two of the squares, the bigger one and the one that, and I'm gonna stack them, well, kind of like a cake would look. And they're made with these kind of um, paper mache boxes. So let me do this first. Let me grab oh, the bag one. This is the big one. All right, I've been working on this today because there's a lot to it. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you what I did because it would take me a very, very, very long time to do this. So I had to prep some of this. I'm gonna show you. They're little tiny feet. Can you see this? <laughs> it's a little foot that you put on the bottom of a square box. And you can see at the bottom of this box, I have applied it, okay? Now what I did with the, um, with the box was I took batting, quilt batting, okay? And I covered the entire box. But uh, the only thing I didn't cover of this box is the top, okay? Because you're not gonna, it needs to lie flat because there's another one gonna go on top of it. So I covered everything with batting, all right? And then I took cream satin and I covered it with cream satin. Now that's easy, easily said. You probably would like to know how I did that. What I did was I took a big wide piece of cream satin, okay? I took this box, I started at one corner, I hot glued it right here. You can see where there, it, there's hot glue, but that's gonna be covered up right there. You're not gonna see that. I, I started here and I wrapped it all the way around and, and put hot glue on the corners all the way around, okay? Then when I was done, I took the bottom and I hot glued it. Now, um, I will go ahead and um, put some felt on the bottom. I have. Now, you're saying, why is there a hole in your box, Susie? Well, <laughs> you have to have a hole in the box because it has to go down into, okay? The second box has a slit in it. It's gonna have a slit in it and it's gonna be stacked here. The slit, you're gonna be able to put the cards in from the back and they will fall down into the bottom of this box, okay? Okay, so what I did was I um, took the, the um, satin and I just kind of punched a hole in it. So I've got these little flaps going on here now, okay? So all I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna hot glue them to the inside. Now it's all secure. So what I did was I took the little foot, but it's like a little, it's like a very um, ornate claw foot, sort of, you might say. And the little triangle part here, you just, you just snug it in really tight. And what I did was I took a pen and I marked where the two holes are for the screw, just right there and there. And then I took my little owl, owl, <laughs> <laughs> and I poked a hole in it just like this on all of the other sides because I already did this but for some reason it's not poking all right so then I take some E6000 because you want it permanent right and right in this part I put E6000 right there okay but on the other part and the little triangle part, I put some hot glue. And just put it on that corner and let it sit. Now, if there's any kind of oozing glue, just wipe it off. You know what, I can just go ahead and just... What I did was I took the E6000 and I just added the E6000 to the two holes right there, just like that. And now the screw is just gonna go right through this cardboard. I really don't even need this screwdriver. I can just probably push it through or tap it in with a hammer. I had a hammer and I do. Right here, just kind of 
tab it right in. There it goes. Now that E6000 is going to hold that screw in there nice and tight. Okay? And it will be supported well, I think. Oh, oh okay, I'm going to let that foot dry. I'm going to set this down. And I'm going to show you the other part, the other box. Okay, this is just the other box. And what I will show you is how I, I did the same thing. I took the batting, cut a strip of it, put it all the way around and hot glued it on the, on the ends. Okay, it's simple, it's really simple. And then I did, took a strip of the satin and I did the same thing. I laid it on its side. I started on one corner, just like the other one. Okay, started on one corner. You can see a little seam. These two seams are gonna go together and be covered up by something. So I'm not concerned about that seam whatsoever, okay? So, okay, so what I do is I've secured it to the bottom and it doesn't matter because this part's gonna get glued to the other bottom, right? So all I'm gonna do is the same thing I did earlier. I'm gonna take some hot glue. secure all the way around. I am going to go ahead and add the bling. Cut it right about here. I'm going to cut it um, kind of wide to cover that area. Peel that back and put a little bit of hot glue. Finger protector back on. Tap it on. I'll peel this side back. Yeah. Covered everything all nicely. All right, now, now the fun part. Okay, and I took my box top. Okay, just like this. I had a mirror. I put a beautiful mirror on it and I've got these cut to size. Okay, so right. Um, so what I did was I painted it just one coat. It didn't have to be two coats. And I took some satin ribbon and I put it around the whole part of the I just glued it. Okay. You want you want these these um, rows of bling to all be going in the right direction, and you want it to be covering the box properly, okay. And you don't want any hanging over or nothing like that. All right. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go ahead because it looks pretty straight on my end anyway. And I'm just gonna put it around like this to get it started. Okay, just wanna make sure that it's all at the edge, okay? That nothing's hanging over the edge over here. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. Just like that. You don't need a whole lot of hot glue. You just need to go around the edge. Just like that. These, you want them lined up properly. Um, with this one, and it is, okay. Flip it up, some hot glue up under there. 
the same thing I did with the other piece. All right, I'm gonna put this is gonna go snugly over this. And this is gonna tell me whether or not I'm going to, it's gonna determine whether or not I'm gonna tuck these under or not at this point. We'll see. We will see. It's nice. See that? Just like that. I'm looking for the edge, huh? that, uh, that little edge that where I started wrapping the batting and then I started wrapping the satin all the way around. We do the same thing with this pretty lace, okay? Here is the edge. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. This is the edge that I said was going to get all covered up because it's all going to line up and it's going to be all covered up with, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a surprise. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and add a little hot glue right here on the corner of this ribbon. Okay. Hoping you can see this well. All I'm doing is I'm, I'm gluing it to the corners. I'm not gluing it in between because I don't want to see any of that glue. I'm just giving it a little bit of glue just around the edge. And you can't even see the seam. It looks so good. See? You gotta glue this box to the other box, right? So we got this box with the feet, with the beady feet. Okay, now what I'm looking for right now is the edge, that, that raw edge, and it's right here. You see that? So I'm gonna take that raw edge, I'm gonna turn it toward me. Okay, this box. Oh boy. <laughs> Yikes! Good thing they're not heavy. I'd be, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> I'd be in big trouble. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take the other edge. Where is it? Where is that edge? Right here. I'm going to line it up so that what I'm covering it up with, you're not going to see. You won't see that edge. What I want to do is I want to just kind of guesstimate with my ruler. I'm going to kind of try to get it centered here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab another hot glue stick and get it ready. I'm going to need more than what I do. This is what I do. Yes, I, I get it measured right where I want it, okay? Then I go like this, and I very carefully, very carefully, ah, and it slid. That's okay. I flip it up, okay, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and add the hot glue. Not to the point where it's going to ooze out the side, but to the point where it's not going to come off either. Okay, then I'm going to very quickly ease it back down right in the spot I had it. When they go to get their cards, um, they can either take off this part down here or they can take off this part up here, whatever's easier for them. These are just lace appliques. They're not, they're not totally dazzled appliques, okay? They're just lace, all right? And what I'm gonna do with these big appliques, this one right here, there's two and they're exactly the same. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna show you how pretty they are. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna add them to the side, but I'm gonna take the center off. I'm just gonna go ahead and snip this little center piece right off because I'm gonna add a beautiful, totally dazzled piece to that and it's gonna be about a thousand times prettier than this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply it. Uh, it's got a 3M sticker on the back, but I'm gonna go ahead and add just a dab of hot glue. Um, I'm gonna pull that sticker off. I'm gonna add a little hot glue to either side of it, and that way we know it's not going anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna add it right to the center. Oh my word. Could it get more beautiful? I think not. Look at that. Seriously. I'm gonna go on the bottom at the, at the side. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put some hot glue in the middle, and then I can finagle 
putting the rest of it on. I'm going to just go around the edge of the applique and hot glue that on. Okay, you can see, you can see it. And I'm, gonna, well, I'm gonna put the other one on as well. There we go. Can you see it? <laughs> put the other one on this side. I'm gonna use this one in the middle box because it's a little smaller. And then this one on the bottom box because it's a little longer, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that 3M sticker off. Is this easy or what, you guys? All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this applique. I gotta be careful because I want it right in the middle. Right in the middle. Put this one on the bottom in the middle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this, now I had some extra fabric a little some some remnants of what I had left over and what I did was I took it over to my machine I don't so I just do quick things like this okay so I just took the fabric I had and I and I ran up a, um, a little hem on it all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to gather it up like this okay I'm gonna gather it up I'm gonna tie it okay and I'm gonna cover this this part with the, which part was it? Is it this one right here with the seam? Yep, right. It's gonna be in this corner. I'm gonna gather it up right here. Okay, I'm gonna glue it here and I'm gonna do what they call a bishop sleeve. Have you ever heard of that? Where it's gonna be like this, okay? It's gonna cover that up with this big flowers. Can you see that, how pretty that is? Some years ago, as I bought these flowers, they're satin. They're the same identical color as the box. All right, I'm going to just go ahead. I'm going to make a cluster of them right here, like three, right up here. So I've got one, one section done here, and I'm just going to go down to this section. Isn't that gorgeous? Is that not stunning? Seriously? With the little claw feet and the totally dazzles on the side? And on that side. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and grab our free download, 50 Ways to Bling Out Your Wedding or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.